I screwed up big time today. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We had an all time line. Couples out, toys, and chimes. Don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. <laughs> so today sucked. Like, really sucked in a big way. FunCon part two happened and I didn't have a good go at this. I didn't follow Heather's steps like I was supposed to. Remember when I said I had good tips? I don't have good tips. I have great tips and you didn't follow them. And on top of that, Black Light Black Panther Funko Pops are being canceled by Target. That's right, the pre-orders are being canceled. Except for mine, thank God. We're gonna talk about the FunCon screw up and we're also gonna talk about that cancellation of Black Panther. And by the way, did you guys see those Marvel Zombies Funko Pops? Now those are awesome. We needed more awesome like that today. Well instead you got a bunch of sh No, I got a bag of farts right to the face. I'm surprised I don't have pink eye. You might tomorrow. Before we get into all that, head over to patreon.com slash gasselcast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel. Yes, you can support the channel in very big ways. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to... Thomas Rinkax, Michael Penna, Russell Walker, Chris Zazaski, Hassan E, Justin and Stacey McKenzie, Stephen Wright, Kevin Hartke, Stephen Owens, and Taylor Molnar. Thank you so much for your support, and thank you to all of our patrons from Patreon. You guys are awesome. All right, so I messed up in a very big way today. I'm gonna get so much for this. I don't think I'm ready for it. I tried to follow Heather's tips, but I didn't. I followed my own tip, and you know that always gets me in trouble. Mm -hmm. Like yesterday, when you were making all of them look at your tip. I didn't make them look at anything. They were picturing it. A big thanks to our friend Daniel for hooking us up with the lottery this year for FunCon. He actually sent us the email today, so we had the new password, the new link. I had both of those things and still f***ed it up in a big way. So as Heather instructed, I went to the website, I copy and pasted my code, and I waited for 12 p.m. Eastern. When 12 p.m. Eastern hit, I hit that button and boom, I was in. I was rocking and rolling. I was ready for this. I added everything that I wanted to my cart, and in fact, they had Galactus today. Ooh. And they also had the Todoroki, what is it called? Tokidoki? Tokidoki, they had the Tokidoki there that was limited as well. But I did add Galactus and a bunch of other things for our friends in hopes that we could get some pretty cool stuff today. Did you happen to see the Black Light Rabbit? Cause I heard he was there too. He was there, don't remind me. So I added everything to my cart, I hit next. It took me to a screen where it basically said, here's all the things in your cart, everything's looking good so far. After that point, it said that Galactus sold out. So that was my first big fail. Then I got to the part where I had to put in all my credit card information. It was all autofill, so that was perfect. But there was a huge problem. I used a wrong f email. What email did you use, Chris? I used my own email and I didn't use Daniel's because he's the one that actually won the lottery. And you didn't win the lottery, right? No, I didn't win the lottery. So yet. why would you enter your email if you didn't I win the don't lottery? know. You want to know why? Because you're a big dumb dummy head. Do you really think that? Yes, especially after today. But I thought it before today too. And this isn't even tough guy Heather. I can't even imagine what tough guy Heather would say. You're a big dumb and I can't believe you f***ed up after all of these tips I've shared, you f***ing idiot, moron, stupid Okay. <clears throat> Chris, you can do this. <clears throat> yes, I f***ed up in a big way. I know. It was sucky. It was really sucky. Like super, super f***ing sucky. How can I mess up this big? I still can't figure it out. Do you remember all the s*** you gave me for not using a mouse? And I got more than you ever did? Yeah, I remember that. Okay. So what was my FunCon haul? Kaboom Clown, the Transformer Funko Pop, Shockwave, another Thor soda, and of course, the It's a Small World little girl from Mexico. I didn't even f***ing want that! Why did I add that to my card? That added insult to injury. I don't know how it happened. I don't even want to look at you right now. I don't want to look at me either. Thank God there's no mirrors in here. So just before 1 p.m., 
they put up all of the leftovers. They did, and who said that was gonna happen, Heather? Me. Me. You didn't say it, I did. I always am right. As a matter of fact, people were and slamming me saying that the black light white rabbit wasn't gonna restock hello suck it it did it restocked today i told him so i am so sick of tough guy heather this isn't tough guy heather at this moment we are almost eight hours out from the public drop and there's still things up on the website you know why because one's the drummer nugget i know no, it's because all that stuff is trash! And one of them is the It's a Small World girl! What the f*** was I thinking? Okay, Heather, here's my big question for you. What was worse, my FunCon debacle or the cancellation of the Black Light Black Panther at Target? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the FunCon debacle only because I've given you tip after tip after tip after tip after tip and you still f***ed it up. And Target everything up. You should have known this was coming. I even told you, remember on September 2nd, when I went to Target really early in the morning to wait in line for that Black Panther bundle, you asked me why I was there. I said, because Target's going to cancel your order. But it turned out I was a week early and it didn't work anyway. It didn't help that you look stupid on top of it. You're right. I look stupid. You're the one that had a mouse and you messed up today. So it seems like the Black Light Target Black Panther Funko Pop is being canceled across the board. Heather actually made a phone call to find out exactly what was going on for this video. What the guy said was that there was a vendor issue. The vendor contacted them and said, hey, we can't sell these. You're going to have to cancel orders. So they canceled orders because Funko said, hey, we can't fulfill these. Wow. So here's my question. All of these collectors waited and ordered right on August 20th when they were available, right? These are pre-orders. And we've gotten how many emails recently saying, hey, approve this delay. Why couldn't they do it with this one? Why couldn't we approve that we still want it when it does come in? Because maybe it's going to be a long time before they can fulfill it. I mean, Target just doesn't want to be caught up in the middle of all this. And they have all these people with all these orders in. People are constantly contacting in our customer service about when it's going to drop because us Funko Pop collectors love to annoy the out of all these different places. True. My thoughts are they can't get them fast enough. I think because of the pandemic, they're having a slow roll on getting some of this stuff, Black Panther included. Well, there have actually been Funko delays across the board. So many delays and not just Funko. Other things are being delayed as well due to shipping and manufacturing issues because of the pandemic. It really, really sinks. Well, that doesn't mean that everybody's understanding about this. No, of course we collected comments of people who are angry about today's news about Black Panther. Well, we're angry too though. Yeah. You target? Yeah! So this was actually on Disc Tracker's post where the Black Panther pop and t-shirt was flickering in and out of stock because they f***ing canceled everyone's XL orders just now. So sick of Target BS. By the way, when I talked to the Target representative, they said it didn't actually go in stock and I personally haven't seen anyone say, hey, check out my order confirmation. Not one person. Mine was just canceled. Unbelievable! I think that this person thinks this is unbelievable. It is. Target canceled my Black Panther order too. Boycott Target. Oh my God. Add Gasselcast. In the words of Chris, <laughs> fuck. Also, Chris would call Target trash after canceling orders. Laugh emoji, laugh emoji, laugh emoji. Well, in this case, I can't really say that they're trash. I think it just happened because of all the problems with Funko. I can't really blame Target for this. Okay, but Target took your money, said that it was a pre-order, refunded your money, and completely canceled your order without even allowing you to approve the delay. Ah, you're right, Heather. Target's trash! Any leaks on the Shang-Chi MCC box? <laughs> what? Target's the absolute <laughs> company to deal with. I wish they'd give up their exclusives to a better developed company, LMFAO. A better developed company? Who's better developed than Target? How about Sears? No, they're they're gone now. Boscops? No, Heather, they're gone also. Hex? No, they're also gone, Heather. Kmart? They're also gone. Can you come up with a store that still exists? Like Ames? They're gone. Oh, sh they are? I used to love Ames. Okay, then Caldor. Also gone. I know it's gone. That place was a sh 
Bowl. Yesterday, we read a comment from our good pal Trilla underscore pops underscore huh 619. And he left us yet another piece of gold. And it appears that Savvy Cat's collectibles would like for tough guy Heather to read his comment. They canceled on my pre-order from Aang Killmonger Star Wars art series. That's the angry... Oh. Sorry, I had a snot. Oh my god. But still haven't gotten Pokemon or Transformer from FunCon, SMFH. I say FunMaker Mike should ban Target and Walmart from Pop Sale. LMAO, let's f***ing go! He should just have Trilla Mart sell for him. I won't cancel orders nor ship in bags. That guy's amazing. Well, today sucked big time. Target canceled orders. I screwed up the fun con part two. It's been a hell of a day. Thank God my Black Panther didn't get canceled. That's one thing I could be thankful for. Were you able to purchase from FunCon Part 2 today? Was your Black Panther canceled? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. Guys, don't forget, head over to 7BucksAPop.com on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. That's when they drop their signature series pops. And apparently this weekend, it's all about wrestling. Head over to 7BucksAPop.com this Saturday. All right, guys, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we are together. Yes, we'll catch you next time. Bye.